Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Now, <clears throat> we're jumping right into the next episode of The Inbetweeners. I was trying to look for episode seven yeah. from season one, but apparently there's only six episodes per season. So this will be season two. The um, field trip. The field trip. So that should be funny. Um, <clears throat> I've noticed a lot of comments about there's like two or three in betweeners movies, I think. Yeah, something like that. I saw that. I'm excited um, for that. Since we're starting season two, let us know if we should stop and watch one of the movies. Because oh, I don't if know they when go they. In order. Yeah, yeah, something like that. So if they go, you know, like a movie after the first season, and then you watch that, and then watch season two or something. Yeah. I mean, we're going to watch this anyway, but. Yeah. But if, no, like, we have a lot of shows that do that. They'll yeah. be, like, a first season, and they'll kind of be, like, a movie. Yeah, so if you think we should stop now and watch one of the movies, because uh, it might be, like, in sequential order or something, yeah. then let us know. So, but anyway, <clears throat> season two, episode one, The Field Trip. The Field Trip. Where are they going? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but it, the chances are they're going to get in a lot of trouble. Yes, so. <laughs> of course. Like so always. Let's get it go wrong. So here we go. Come on in, Boomerites. Let's let's check it out. You couldn't tell it like Jacob. I'm Will, and yes, it's a briefcase. I'm scared of you and your terrifying comprehensive, because my mum hasn't scraped enough money together to send me back to my old, private, and let's face it, better school. However, I have made friends here, and in some ways, this term will be better than the last. And in many other ways, a lot oh more. Oh my gosh! <laughs> but before all that, my first hurdle of the new term involved a freezing cold day in January, a coach, and Jay calling me a bender. Morning, benders. All right. What's a bender? A bender? Yeah. Do you know that term? It's like, correct me if I'm wrong, it's like an insult, but like an insult you'd say to a friend. Okay, yeah, but what does it mean? Oh, I don't know what it means. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just Let know us know you, what it means. Yeah, I just know, like, I've heard <clears throat> John, uh, Johnny say it before. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let us know what bender means. The Swanage field trip is legendary for carnage. It's the only reason I chose geography. Seems like a flimsy reason. Unspecified carnage. Yeah, well, I'll tell you one thing that won't be flimsy. My cock. There's oh, a my... sexy housewife down there, and every year she fucks <laughs> one bloke from her school. How can you possibly know that? My mate went last year, and he banged her. He said that she was the best he'd ever had. A right, fit, mature bird that does it because she loves young meat. Oh, bollocks. Oh, my God. For one thing, you don't even have a mate in year 13. Yeah, I do. Chris Groves. Never heard of him. Well, he's not going to hang out with a twat like you, is he? So let me get this straight. Your imaginary friend fucked an imaginary older woman in Swanage, so you decided to do geography A-level. Good plan. We should try and have a laugh down there, though. Do something different. We could go on a boat trip. I checked online, they hire boats from the harbour. The internet really is wasted on you. No, I don't know. We should, like, try and get off with the local girls or get some booze in or something. Everything was shit out here by the seaside. Yeah, can't wait. We could let off a load of fireworks in our room. Could do. Might be a bit pointless. Neil. What are you doing? Getting on a coach. But you don't do geography or sociology. I know that. So what are you doing <laughs> getting on the coach to the geography and sociology field trip? Oh, well, Jay was going on about how mental it all was, and I really, really wanted to go. So I asked Mr Kennedy if I could come down and help him out. Pedo Kennedy? He said yes, presumably. He did, actually. Who's Pedo Kennedy? <laughs> Your teacher and Pedo. I don't believe the school would actually employ a pedophile. They have done. The thing is... <laughs> they have done. He was caught in the music cupboard wanking over the school orchestra. When? Before we started. Convenient. What's he asked you to do, Neil? He's got to collect a load of samples down here. What, of your spunk? Collected in his mouth. And hair. Oh, you. Behave. So even though Neil was now suspected pedo's plaything, we boarded the coach with high hopes. It might have been a new term and a new year. <laughs> Still going well with Kai, then, is it? Shut up. Here he is. Oh, watch out, Neil. Oh, don't do that. Oh, thumbs up, friend! Oh, we had all the front for your friend! Oh, thumbs up, friend! Why do they do that, boys? Because that's what will be going up your arse first. Going up your arse first. <laughs> but in all the excitement, we've forgotten the first rule of coach travel. Hard kids at the back. Oh, I'm off. No, stay! There's no reason for us to move, and we're not moving! Move. Why should we move? 
Do you want me to give you a reason? But I'm not leaving without one. <laughs> I don't think that you understand that we got up early to secure these seats and there's no way you'll find the point. <laughs> oh, fuck, where are we going to sit now? What is going on? Will you not sit down? My seats have been taken, sir. There's nowhere left. Yes, there is. There's loads at the front. Sit next to John. I'm not sitting next to John. His fat ass takes up two seats. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. Is he next to me? Oh, what? Well, it's me or Mr. Kennedy. Now, come on, hurry I'm up. I'm looking to run. And Mackenzie, sit down. Hello. Hi. Um, who are you? I'm Lauren Harris. I'm you. Hi, I'm Will McKenzie. Scary bit. Why does Will get all the girls? I know. <laughs> I think the tall one should. I like him. <laughs> He's definitely got the moves for it. Yeah. The dance moves. I'd be impressed if you did the robot. Yeah. Hi. Um, who are you? I'm Lauren Harris. I'm you. Hi, I'm Will McKenzie. Scary being you, isn't it? It's a bit. The way the kids all threaten to beat you up and call your names like briefcase wanker. <laughs> no, it wasn't for me either. <laughs> I was more used to field trips to places like the Alps or Barcelona than shitty English seaside towns. But as we headed to Swanage, there was definitely a sense of excitement, a feeling that anything could happen. For the first couple of hours. <laughs> Look at him, he's so happy. I love it. Don't even think about trying to talk to me. Don't even think trying to talk to me. What's the swap sense? Nah, you're alright. God, it's so boring up there. I mean, any SpongeBob she's pants talking to? Oh, she's fit. Yeah, she is. Yeah, this is to get her attention. On the old, don't be embarrassing. Alright, everyone! Watch this! Doing that horn thing, that's really funny. Yeah, that, yeah, really funny, silly, isn't it? Silly in a funny way. Do it again, Neil. Yeah, do it again, Neil. <laughs> hey! Yeah. Yeah. Do you like that? I've got a good one. Oh. <laughs> 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 Right, sit down. So far, the only unspecified carnage we had witnessed was what Big John had left in the coach toilet. But Jay wasn't giving up on finding his mythical seaside milf. So where do you think this nymph is at? <laughs> his <laughs> mythical <laughs> seaside <laughs> milf! <laughs> I love oh. that sentence. Oh. His mythical seaside some milf. Of the, some of the word usage in this show kills me. High street, maybe? Or down by the ice cream stall on the front? Apparently, right, she comes up to you and asks for a lick of your cornetto. It means she's offering a cock in mouth situation. It's like a cock. Oh, my God. oh, well, a bit embarrassing, but do you mind if I sit with you at lunch? You know, because I've got no mates and all that. God, uh, no problem at all. You can sit on my lap if you like. Hmm. No, thank you. I thought you should know that that thing you did in the bus was really sad and pathetic and not funny. Ooh. Oh. Oh. I like her. Looks like you won't be getting off with Lauren then. Who okay, cares? She's just a little girl. Then come down here for girls, mate. Get enough of them back at home. No, I'll come down here for a woman. She is fit though. What? Lauren's fit, isn't she? <laughs> I saw her first. What? I only said she was fit. Hi, guys. Hi. Here, sit down here. Oh, uh, I'm just off, actually. Oh, no, don't leave my kind. Oh, no, it's not that. It's just I've got to go see a man about a dog. Then a woman about a pussy. <laughs> I do know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> like it kills me, man. <laughs> I was not oh. expecting that. Here, sit down here. I'll, uh, I'll just <laughs> stop, actually. Oh, no, don't leave my kind. Oh, no, it's not that. It's just I've got to go see a man about a dog. Then a woman about a pussy. <laughs> I do. <laughs> just got that. Right. You coming, Neil? Yeah. I'm Simon, by the way. Hi, Simon. Sorry about those two. It's all right. I've got a younger brother, so I'm used to it. Well, actually, he's eight, so he's a bit more mature, like, but you know. Feisty <laughs> one, you are! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> he always 
was, <laughs> that was so ridiculous. <laughs> look at look at both of their faces. They're like, what was that? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. It's all right. Got a younger brother, so I'm used to it. Well, actually, he's eight, so he's a bit more mature. Look at his little head turn. <laughs> he's I'm sorry, he's like, he doesn't know what to do. What? All right, got a younger brother, so I'm used to it. Well, actually, he's eight. So he's a bit more mature. Look at his little head turn. He's like, what? All right, got a younger brother, so I'm used to it. Well, actually, he's eight. So he's a bit more mature, like, but you know. <laughs> Feisty one, you are. <laughs> what? Feisty one, you are. <laughs> <laughs> are you like that? It was Yoda from Star Wars. Oh God! It's the same impression I was doing on the couch for about an hour. Oh, was that what that was? Oh, good. I thought you might, you know, have a problem. <laughs> oh, oh, or Asperger's, maybe? Wrong again. Have you ever been tested for anything? What? Oh, I was going to ask, would one of you two do the survey with me? You know, because I've got no mates and all that. I will. Oh, really? Yep. I don't think you can, actually. Why not? Yeah, why not? Um, maybe <laughs> because of what I mentioned earlier. Jay fucking an old woman. Oh, ladies present. No, um, the other thing. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Look, Will, Lauren doesn't know anyone. Don't be a dick. I'm not being a dick, Simon. I'm just saying, who am I going to do my survey with? Oh, no. <laughs> Mr. Gilbert says I'm to pair up with you because I'm not very good with directions and I might get lost. Right! Can I borrow your fork? I'll spill ketchup on my... So Simon got to hang out with lovely Lauren. While oh, is she getting jealous! Oh, yeah. Oh, she's she getting well, jealous! She's that rarest of beasts, a sexy middle-aged woman. Hurry up, Jay. I've got to get back to work Kennedy out in 15 minutes. All right, I'll try this one. Excuse me? Yes? Um, we're doing a survey for school. Can I ask you a few questions? Will it take long? Can take as long as you like. <laughs> Sorry? Nah. Uh, first question. What form of transport did you take into town today? I drove. And how often do you use public transport? Rarely. And do you wear, like, stockings and that? <laughs> Is this about transport? It's just the question. Look at down. his face! Uh, one last one. <laughs> uh, I wonder what the last one was. Oh, hello. Where's Lauren? Oh, she wants to get a drink. She's nice, isn't she? I thought you were only interested in Carly. Oh, well, sort of, but Lauren's all right, you know. Easy to talk to. Did you mention me at all? No. Right. She said she thought I was really good looking. Oh, I was not expecting that. This is a bit weird, because I really like her, but I think she might like you. Right, well, if you think she fancies me, then I should probably go for it. Perhaps, except I'm saying that I like her. I should go for it, though. Any thoughts on the me liking her part? Um, no, sure, good point. But she is fit, so you can see my problem. Not really. Yeah, but you know how it is. How? How is it? You know. Then why don't we just see what happens later back at the dorm? She might not be interested in either of us. I suppose that's true. Let's just wait and see. And no hard feelings if she goes with me. Oh, I'm not worried about that. <laughs> <laughs> Yet? Not yet. Surprisingly. Where have you been now? Me and Kennedy went down to the beach and then went swimming. Sorry? Swimming? Yeah. Just the two of you. Yeah. Pedo Kennedy took your skinny dipping. No. You gave me a spare pair of trunks. What? Speedos? They were actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm beginning to see what he gets out of this arrangement, Neil, but what's in it for you? Bish. You got me from the offy. Nice. Cool. Shit. Now here comes some carnage. You said don't tell Gilbert, though. Don't tell him about the inappropriate swimming or about the planned sexual assault when you're drunk. <laughs> oh my gosh. Brilliant. He goes neither. We're well pissed. <laughs> Although technically it does mean we're now pimping Neil out. I'm cool with that. Me too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yo, I love Neil. He's okay, I, I know. Love I love him. He's my favourite. Shit. Hide it. Simon, Will, it's Lauren. Are you guys in there? Right. Hey, there's another noise down the hall. It sounds like a party. Do you fancy it? Party? Hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> well, please stop. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus fucking Christ, man. <laughs> Look at that pause. Please stop. That's the perfect pause. You know you're never ever gonna get laid. <laughs> Dave was wrong. Statistically, there's a good chance I would get laid. Eventually. 
So we had the booze and the girls. Well, a girl. Now all we needed to get this party started was a party. What? We're here for the party? It's that posh little prick asking me if you've got any pictures of his mum. He's got a bottle of vodka. Here they are. Team twat. What's that you brought for me? Well, it's Neil's vodka. We thought we could maybe come in and join the party. Thank you, wankers. Well, that went well. Nice, the girl's gonna so get him in. The party's probably over for us then. We could do something else. Pool? Table tennis? I think I saw the ball game Risk downstairs. Fuck that for a laugh. I'm gonna go find that yummy mummy who wants me to spunk on her tummy. A rapey rhyme. How lovely. Here, yeah, come on, let's bunk it. <laughs> yeah, this show kills me, man. Oh, oh my gosh. god. Um, I think I'm gonna call it a night, guys. Maybe see you at breakfast. Do you wanna walk me back to my dorm, maybe? My pleasure. Oh, um, and then Simon. Uh, yeah, okay. Great. We'll both walk you back then. Oh, come on. Oh, um, come on. Let Simon get some. Let Lauren get some. I'll see you tomorrow then, Will. Definitely. See you tomorrow. Simon, can I speak to you before you head back? Yeah, of course. Good night then, Will. <laughs> She's trying to be so nice. She's oh, like, no, it's okay. you? I'll wait for Simon. You can say anything you want in front of me. We're mates. Okay. Simon, do you fancy hanging out tomorrow, maybe, in the free time? Just the two of us? A bit rude. Uh, yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> I'd love to do that. Cool. I'll meet you by the harbour after lunch. By the sea. That's what they tend to position them, Simon. Makes it easier for the boats. Good night then, Will. Yeah, whatever. Good night, Simon. <laughs> yeah, good night. Oh, Will, come on. Come on, Simon. Let's get going. It's been so nice making you, Simon. What a oh, fucking cock I mean, block. I feel the same. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He's not being a good friend. No, this, is a, I don't, this might be the funniest episode to me so far. <laughs> Season 2 is starting off it's with a bang. It's starting out great. Simon. Come on, mate. Let's get going. Let's get Right by my bed, just pop it in my back later, mate. <laughs> right between the shoulder blades. <laughs> right then, Lauren. So Simon got a hug. A hug, not sex. But from the way he went on about it, you think she'd sucked his foreskin or something. Can you believe it? I think she really likes me. Yeah, I think it's time to get some sleep now, Simon. <laughs> Hello. Tell me, me, boys. Just uh, on my way to bed. Thought I'd check how you are. Ooh, swimming's tiring. Are your legs tired? I think they're okay. Yes. Quick massage before bedtime. Ah, I'm tired. <laughs> it's horrifying. Ooh. Come on, John. Oh. Rub down. Um, the shift of lactic acid? Not now, John. Oh. Was that a dream? Or was that just a <laughs> oh, wet dream? No. Wait, what did he say? <clears throat> was that a dream or did that just happen? That was your wet dream. No, <laughs> it wasn't. He rubbed my legs. Well, that's what you get for leading on pedos, you slut. <laughs> <laughs> Scarred by the most events. Unlike me. You are alright with me sitting on here, aren't you? Giant seagulls. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Holy shit. Are your seagulls on steroids <laughs> over there? We My live, God. We live in Florida and we have tons of seagulls, but what are those? They're like half the those size are of that. Turkey seagulls. Jesus Christ. I thought That's they were ducks. They're like the Hulk Hogan of seagulls, bro. You see? <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Are you sure you're alright with it? Hello, Simon. Hello. Can't see you at all this trip. Where have you been? Um, just here. What are you doing this afternoon? Uh-oh. Nothing. Is that correct? 
Yes. I'm sure you've got something on this afternoon. Don't you so. Because it's a free time later, and as you haven't hung out in ages, I thought, like, why don't I see what Simon's doing? Did you? Yeah. I, that's a real shame, Carly, because Simon's. I don't like with, women like is this. Is it Lauren this afternoon? Oh, right. Is that the new girl? I saw you talking to her. Did you? Yeah. So Simon can't come because he's got a date. You're going on a date with her, Simon? No, not a date, just hanging. Sorry, Simon, I didn't realise it was a date thing. No, listen to me. It's not a date. It can't be a date because anyone's welcome. Me, you, Lauren, who may or may not be coming. She's definitely coming. She might not, and I don't care either way if she does. Carly, it'd be great to hang out with <laughs> you this afternoon. Um, see you down the front at three. See you later then. Well, thanks for nearly fucking that up for me, mate. I just don't want things to get confusing. You can't meet up with both of them, can you? Shit, I don't know. I can't cancel Lauren, can I? Look, Carly means something to you. You should go out with her. I'll sort Lauren out. Yeah. Of course yeah, you that's will. That's the right thing to do, isn't it? Will you talk to Lauren then? Of course. I'll let her down gently for you, mate. He's going Lauren out with somebody else and he can tell you to your face. He's a twat. So I said I'd do it because I think you deserve an explanation. Oh. Well, that's a shame. Thanks, Phil. Look, I've hired a boat this afternoon. Why don't you come out with it with me? Not sure. Oh, go on. Please? All right, then. Great. They hired the boat and sat down by the key. Oh, and if you see Simon, best not to measure, I said he was a twat. <laughs> see you later, then. Meanwhile, oh. Jay was still on the hunt for his sex star ice cream lady. I don't know, she looks too old. We've been here two days, and she's the first bird we've seen hanging out here. She looks like she's only got one leg. Yeah, she's probably just got an old face. Must be because of all the gist she's had on it. I bet her body's still pretty fit. Thought I'd find you here. <laughs> How's the sex search going? Jay thinks it's her. <laughs> <laughs> you must be joking, she's ancient. No, if she put on a bit of fake tan and slipped into some sexy undies, I'd definitely give it a go. <laughs> it must be her. I've given everyone else the eye. She looks like she could give you her action eye. <laughs> <laughs> This is it. It's now or never. Guess I'm like nine, Jay. Oh, my God. Really what can I get you? Cornetto, please. One Cornetto. Is that all? Do you want to lick it? <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> Smell. I slipped. <laughs> he tried to run away and she fell. Oh, my poor baby. <laughs> Glasses fell off her head, everything. Oh my god. I got up and I slipped. Oh my gosh, I was expecting him to say something like really dirty and then it was just so simple. It was so dirty. <laughs> oh, my oh my god. god. Why would it survive back in the sea? What? <laughs> Yo, what is this? Oh my god! What? What is going on in these dudes' brains? Oh my god! It won't survive in the sea now. Why? Why won't it survive in the sea? And then he just punches it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no! Oh. Was a fish hard well, enough to eat it? Yeah, I hope not. You just punched a fish to death. <laughs> Take it back and eat it. I'm not eating that. It's going out the fucking sea. I'm cold. Mummy, can you get the pot? Stay, Stay with us, Simon. We'll get you help. Oh fuck. Fuck it! Are you okay, Will? Fine, thanks. We'll be back for you in a minute. Swim back. It's very. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> wow. This, uh, oh I think this God. is the best episode they've done so far. This is so... <laughs> A fucking minute. Just one back. On holiday in Spain one year, me and my mate took a pedlo out and we went to Africa. Do you think you can spare us the bullshit for one minute while I try to figure out how not to die at sea? Our car is there. Look. Hi, Cardi! <laughs> Because we caught a fish. Come here, mate. I don't think so either. Well, I don't think so either. No one better find out about this. What? Apart from everyone over there. Now we just wait for the sea fish. Although this might look a bit weird. No, it's totally fine. We just all went out for a boat ride about 20 minutes ago. Now we've been dragged back to shore. The boat is covered in fish brains and you're totally naked. And Carly and Laura are going to think this is pretty cool, right? Oh yeah, pretty cool. The definition of a field trip is an educational <laughs> journey allowing students to observe events outside the oh, of the field. Oh my god. Yeah. 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 Educational journey. We observed my brilliant Star Wars impression. I see you are. They get concerned. <laughs> Neil punching a fish and Simon I can't with that song. first punch. Got Killed me. Observation. We have oh a one thing. Turns out Mr. Kennedy is a pedophile. It's all right, sir. I didn't even get wet. But at least some good came of it. Lauren had to move away shortly afterwards, and Simon never saw her again. <laughs> <laughs> Shortly yeah, because she probably told her parents about the field trip, and they said, we're getting you the hell out of this school. <laughs> That's exactly how that happened. Like, oh, my God, dude. Oh, that was... Season two is a... Oh, that was definitely the best episode. it all episode. in there. Wow, oh they started God. off season two with a fucking bang. Oh, my God. I fell. Oh, my God. That we both so literally lost it like ten times. I, that was a lot. Oh my god. It upped the ante the more the show. My went. face hurts. <laughs> it hurts. That was so damn funny. Oh my gosh. Wow. I'm very excited for the next episode, so. I know. Uh, oh my god, thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you for suggesting we the in between. Yeah. We're definitely hooked. And this is one of the funniest shows we've ever seen. Ever. It's so funny. Oh my dear lord. <laughs> Feisty one you are. Oh my god. <laughs> She's like on the shore saying like, is that a fish? Yes, it's a fucking <laughs> fish. Just give me a fucking minute, please. Yes, lord, it's a well, you set up a flare. Yes, I know! I just like, he's like, we can't put it in the sea now. It won't survive. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> and then he's like, I have to put it out of, my mis of, out of its misery. And then he just touches it. Unbelievable. Oh well, I'm God. definitely going to have to edit out some shit yes, in this one. Yeah, we can't. Yeah. Unfortunately. Oh, my God, dude. Oh. Oh. That was utterly hilarious. I think he punched a real fish that looked very real. Yeah. I'd say. We're any fish heart in the beginning. Yeah, hopefully that wasn't a real fish. But I don't know. I don't think fish squirt out blood like that. It, kind of, it looked kind of fake to me, but... Uh, I don't know. Well, I don't know. season I've, two! I've caught a lot of fish. Yeah. But once again, let us know if uh, we should stop and watch one yeah, of the Inbetweeners movies. movies. If not... Should we do the, all the seasons and then the movies? That kind of thing. Let us know oh, what you think about that. I'm excited that. for episode two. Yeah. That was so good. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> well, now I'm going to lay down for a bit because my face hurts. Yeah, my face hurts. Yeah. 
But I anyway. have a hard time doing homework now because I'm just gonna be thinking of this yeah. episode. Well, thank you guys. Like, thank subscribe, you. do whatever you guys want, and please do not harm any fish. Yes. And especially don't punch them in the face. <laughs> don't punch them. <laughs> Throw okay. them back in the water. They'll be okay. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, All right. We'll see you guys the next time we do an In-Betweeners episode, okay? Bye. Peace Thank out, you. everybody.